January 28, 2021 it is. This video is related to, of course, to MK Ultra, but what's really, really very meaningful to me, it's related to a, another trip to China, yet this was the most colorful trip. It was not only a trip to China, but it was also a trip to Russia. Uh, the person you're about to hear all through I have not identify her with something that I would say okay here it is I have the proof that I know her all through I do have a proof in a little bit I'm going to tell you more about her um, she related to me during the conversation as if we do know each other all through from the beginning I did not have an idea who I'm talking to uh, I actually heard I was on my way to this location here where I also applied for the job. This is uh, the Development Center Novel Mesto. This thing here too was planned in advance. I'm gonna have another video. This is a place where I did identify people in this place here. This is not something that this would be something like coincidence or something like that. No. Uh, this was yet another position they had well planned ahead and since I was not selected for the project uh, I was going to visit that day a manager I wanted to find out what exactly the situation is how this and that and so it did happen on January the 18th of 2021 when I was rushing to this place and on my way in the city of the Novo Mesto, of course, I met this beautiful girl. And it happened so that I would go and I was usually this is like a long walk. You know, in the morning, it's, a, it's, it's like over hour in one direction. And I was with my thoughts walking, walking, and I see this beautiful girl playing with a dog. And I look at her a little bit closer and i see something that actually resembled uh, maybe even japanese girl uh, and i like that i like uh, environment that involves uh, international audience so boy i saw her and i wanted to find out i immediately put i uh, i stick my nose immediately i wanted to know uh, more about it. Uh, she had the dog, she was playing with the dog and this and that. And we started the conversation. Uh, I kind of approached the dog and we started the conversation, right? And so one thing led to another till it came to me who she was. And this goes way, way, way back in time. This was the most colorful trip. She did literally with me, she dedicated well it was like she has a she had a long back way back ancestry from russia uh and literally from the town on the border i think from 1700s or something like that with china and so she reminded me basically on this trip and you're gonna you're about to hear i'm not meeting a lot of people but the people I'm meeting are incredibly colorful, interesting people. Um, every time I meet somebody, it's uh, really, really meaningful stuff. And this is very, very meaningful. As she took me with her to this trip. On this trip. I'm not sure it was some German or was some British guy to it. I think it was actually even German guy. Uh, as I go over the conversation, uh, I'm going to give more input about it. But I did, it didn't, it didn't. And then it came to me. Then eventually the area, the area where she lives it, I did identify, but I did made a mistake. Uh, I pointed out the apartment building. That's not true. She is in the house. I was inside of the house. I was even inside of the shower in that house. Her mom, her dad is a very beautiful family. 
And so, um, of course, she's married now and she's got kids, but this is the way it is. And you're about to see just how far uh, Chinese government have gone with this attempt to rescue, to help me. Uh, don't be surprised when you're going to hear she will explain that, remind me, it was a Chinese man who learned Slovenian language. Actually, it was like this. It was a Chinese man way back, you know, way, way, way back. Sometimes, probably even in 97, maybe 98, when he told me that he will learn Slovenian language for me. And I, I did not know whether what 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 to believe i i was confused like you you wouldn't believe i mean what 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 now slovenian i mean this is like a two million million and a half people uh language the chinese is gonna learn that kind of language i was drugged up i was like i was like what is first of all i was like what what, what is it to me i mean if you're gonna learn slovenian language i mean I knew nothing and to me everything was like I didn't care then I don't know whether the man did learn language or not I I don't know maybe I was so stupid so nasty or something that maybe he did not even learn language but there was another younger generation that came afterwards and it was this university very intelligent like uh, very eager to learn new things young man um probably i don't know maybe i i, I don't know maybe sometimes in like maybe you know it was like later on it was like in 2000 and 2003 maybe something like this that definitely gonna learn Chinese language and it's like the girl said he did learn uh, actually Slovenian language uh, eventually a man did learn Slovenian language a Chinese guy who did learn Slovenian language so you have people in China no I know people don't do that kind of stuff in China really they're not specialized in learning Slovenian language this is not what it is um, he told me because of you for you for you i will learn this slovenian language and you're gonna hear girl talking about these things and i'll give you a little idea about this trip alone but other than that yo i was in china already i don't think i was in 95 but if i tell you already in 96 i was all over china i wouldn't lie to you i was all over the china uh, I met eventually what became my girlfriend uh, who studied in Wuhan University and because of what she knew will come and this is international journalist international journalist she is international she would go and do some kind of short something i don't know how much it did like six months or whatever it did i don't know three months i don't know how much again in wuhan so that i would know and it, we dated in miami later on in the us so that she would remind me of donald trump because donald trump was the one who was simply obsessed criminally obsessed with Wuhan and I don't have to explain to you anything uh, why Donald Trump traveled and traveled and traveled and traveled and traveled to Wuhan but it was alarming and scary as hell for the China for the Chinese people it was a trauma for Wuhan but let's set this aside 
and let's now continue. This is many times I was in China. Probably not even business people, like, no, well, depends what kind of business people. But every time during MK Ultra, uh, would travel to China. I was taken many, many times to China. I like China. I like a lot China. Chinese people already started to kind of see me as their own. There's a lot to like about China. Okay, let's go and um, let's go to the audio and I will get that translated for you. I see this girl now right in the park and uh, he's got this jacket and I see this pretty face and damn it, it sure it looked to me either like a Japanese or Chinese or something like that. I was definitely interested in learning about this in my city like this girl. Uh, I immediately wanted to know more about this and so I see she uh, she's got a dog too and I want to make my morning beautiful and so what I do is I approach to the dog and I start to play with the dog and uh, hello how are you this and that okay I'm playing with the dog uh, asking him not to bite me, please. Oh, Madonna. Oh, let go. I asked the girl, I keep looking, and so I asked her, I said, are you, are you from Slovenia or... And she says, yeah. You're not from uh, Japan or something like that? Uh, please, I apologize to you. <laughs> and she says, no, 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 we are both laughing. <laughs> and she knows, she knows that I have this um, soft spot uh, for the Asian woman. She knows, she knows that. And I compliment her, I said, you're, you're very beautiful, I tell her. <laughs> I will resume the draw attack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Wow. Uh, she tells me that her ancestry, however, we are both laughing. She says, uh, my ancestry, she said, you know, they are from, uh, from the Russia, somewhere in the border with uh, China. Uh, I said, yeah, that's very beautiful. I said, uh, how, how can that be so long ago, your ancestry? I said, because you, you look like kind of, uh, and she says, uh, like she says, like 1700, I think is what she says. Uh, it's about like 320 something years ago. Okay. Um, she, how can I say? Um, maybe I had such an impact on her. Maybe I had such an impact on her. She, uh, she appealed to me during MK Ultra, she got my attention during MK Ultra, and uh, boy, I got my eye on her. And uh, the next thing you see, she uh, she started to pay attention to herself. Really, what she looks like? What is it that uh, got me, got my attention so much? And uh, then she learned about her ancestry. That there is something really about her like this, and she really dates. Uh, really, according to her family records, to Russia. Yeah, 
порядок, где сходится. Да, там порядок, они могут быть жен, не хочется мешать на китайском, а то монгольский и русский, вау. I told her that uh, there are one of the most beautiful women in the world over the uh, mixed Chinese, Russian, uh, Mongolian women, and she's laughing, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I told her I was there too, you know. Yeah, yeah. And she said, like, where were you? And I said, yeah, all over the Russia I was. Uh, I was all over, uh, anywhere from Sakhalin to the islands which border Japan. So that's on the other side of the Europe. Uh, not Europe, but Asia, I would say. I told her in Russia there is no Japanese minority really, but there is a large Chinese minority and in China they do have a Russian minority. Yeah, this is very, very true. When I was in China, uh, the Chinese uh, played with me and they took me to a variety of places and they also took me to the places where I literally met uh, Russian, a Russian minority. And it was like, uh, uh, this is just uh, MK Ultra does not make a whole lot of sense. Um, this Chinese situation, this was very, very difficult to, to explain. This was a very, very difficult uh, I was uh, rated even as uh, somebody who doesn't like China and Chinese and this and that, but you couldn't be further from the truth because I dreamed about China uh, and Japan since I was a kid. I watched this uh, movie. I watched movie about Marco Polo. Marco Polo, in case you did not know, uh, that was Italian adventure explorer uh, who made his way to China. Um, that's where the noodles came from, that's where the money came from, and that kind of stuff. And uh, in a movie, they sure did know how to demonstrate uh, oriental beauty if you want ah, when I was like uh, like uh, 16 yeah like a 16 year old we had first Chinese coming here to Novo Mesto and um, I don't know whether these people stayed or not uh, but I liked it I like it they were here, they were selling the stuff here on the flea market here in the little flea market in the Novo Mesto and I would buy myself those, uh, I don't even know how you say that, uh, Chinese and Japanese uh, for Pachleace um, in Slovenian language, I don't know how you say that in English language and it really really pissed me off that I have uh, reserve those beautiful things inside of that. Uh, it's right behind me. In that uh, drawer, nicely put them inside. Uh, before I left to America, I had everything inside. All of a sudden, I find myself here inside of this room with Americans brought from America, going over my stuff and going over this things whatever I had smelling everything I have what do I have what is it I don't have uh, they also find this kind of stuff and this and that and start to tutor me about everything and stuff like I was a complete idiot like I was like I don't even know how to explain it, it's just a lot of paradox in respect to China Czechs started to teach me about China through the Taiwan 
that you know stupid stuff truly um, derogatory insultive stuff um, the most derogatory the most uh, insultive stuff you possibly can create something like this Pollux did the same thing with the Japanese and so on and so forth presenting me always as a racist as I don't know what and making their sales through the Škoda uh, business with the Fujitsu and stuff like that um, a lot of stuff like this I did not like Czech or Pollock or even a Russian on the picture next to Chinese and even less Serb because they lied because they lied because that's all there was whatever came out of their mouth it was one thing only and it was a lie a blatant lie shit and I wasn't the only one who figured out this stuff it was Chinese government too who realized that and for that reason for that matter if they were around me a Chinese government always make sure that that people around me were rough it was like a rough if they had some kind of audience they too acted like I was like some bad person or something like this but when we were apart when we were for ourselves it was a different thing man it was like I was Chinese actually it was like environment that I, I experienced love I'll be honest with you they have fallen for me I don't even know why they had fallen for me but they did and they try to impact on Vucic, on a Serbian, Chetnik Vucic, uh, begging me, literally, not to get in arguments with him, not to do this, not to say anything about this and this and that. They were praying for me, but they were not. They're in MK Ultra, they wouldn't express this. Like, I assume for my good, because this is just uh, the way things were this is the way it was China had absolutely nothing the least to do with it now uh, I became crazy at one point I didn't know anymore about I thought the whole world is against me really um, at one point in time uh, before I found myself in a place so let's go on with it uh, Russian minority in China or oh, Russian woman uh, mixed with the Chinese I think these are one of the most beautiful women in the world it's just I think that the feedback I got from a KGB assistant of Vladimir Putin uh, did psychologically not satisfy me in intellectual sense when he told me sometimes in I don't know what year was it was it like maybe even in 97 98 all you will ever get through this case he told me is going to be a, some kind of a mixture of the Russian and Chinese or something like this that Vladimir Putin had enormous problem with China, with the Chinese people. Not maybe even so much with the state, but with the people bothered him. What bothered him was a lot of things. He had a lot of things against China. It was all kinds of stuff that Chinese go to the Russia and impregnate Russian women, that they are buying everything, that the Chinese, I don't know, um, they don't allow the Russian language and stuff like this this is bullshit because I was with the Chinese government was the one who took me to the border to the Russian people and I didn't like it I didn't like it because I was I wanted to be with the Chinese and this and that and then it was a situation over there these are situations that um, you could clearly from the psychological sense I, I absolutely they fit into the category of the Vladimir Putin Alexander Vucic this is all politically built 
stuff through a lot of manipulations through a lot of lies through a lot of all kinds of stuff that you would simply decline certain situations to associate with and such was the stuff that I didn't want to associate if I was whatever I was I didn't want to associate with some other stuff because they lied the first person who lied was Lech Valenza this was the first person who lied this is the biggest bigot criminal in my opinion I have ever seen in my lifetime this is a bigot criminal who did not only accept bribe from the United States but with a single lie with one single lie he made sure that I would not want to even know about Eastern Europe anymore in year 1995 with a single lie drugged up this is humiliation to drug somebody up and guide him around in my book this is like severe like the most severe humiliation you know what kind of humiliation is that somebody drugs you up and then brings you in front of other people and stuff this is severe humiliation that's number one thing then number two he made a lie that I didn't like him based on his physical looks so I was humiliated and I was even more humiliated because he lied and when you lie like this under this kind of circumstances and he did not even made it through not even halfway not even quarter way 95 he had to repeat this few times and it did happen I don't even know in what year did he accomplish that I sent him to I don't know where so that he was able to tell his big Polish people whatever he wanted to tell so they all know wrong from true in a negative sense it's this kind of stuff that that have had severe impact on me when it came to international relations because it's like if you're guilty if you're already drugged up and you are treated like this and you're guilty of any ways of lies I felt like why wouldn't I be I mean then I started to insult people and do all of that kind of stuff. So you can tell, thank your politicians for the stuff that happened. Why would I care? I mean, if it's like this, right? If it's either way, it's serious, why would I care? One thing for sure, taking people like this seriously, that will be like the biggest mistake you can possibly make. Um, okay this stuff is what we're gonna do is we're gonna just skip this stuff uh -huh. uh, we're gonna skip that kind of stuff uh, I was thinking for a moment to go about and do another video but I will not do that stuff uh, it's the first time I go over and everything I tell you is just pretty much uh, the way it was the way things are so Huh. Um, she tells me about the China where she was and I'm trying to get an idea about okay this is uh, did she said Wuhan or something like that I am not even sure if I go back here uh, she said she is in the spiritual stuff she likes spirituality in uh, 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 gora, pravi, ne? Vudanska gora. Uh, 
Okay, so there you have, I think, some kind of uh, mountain. That I think this is she. Damn it, this possibly is even she. Yeah, this is this is how things are here. Not exactly the internet. It's it's very good internet, but whatever they have done to me with operating system, not so. Ah, uh, this is probably this place here. This is yet another Slovenian girl who just happens to like China too, I guess. Now the girls like China too. Okay. Okay, so she likes spirituality and um, um, yeah. And we're gonna skip her last name and name. Uh huh. Uh uh, she's got this beautiful dog with her and um, she just got this dog. Uh, this dog was uh, raised in Croatia. These are the old friends also that she has in Croatia. Yeah. In Slovenia there is only 10 of these dogs and this one she she's got from Croatia from her friends. But it's not a puppy really, it's already a dog. Uh, it's some kind of a, a breed from Peru, from South America, and there are only 10 in Slovenia. She says, no, I just, I didn't care about that kind of stuff. I just wanted to have a dog and this is dog that didn't want, so I took it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yes, yes, I personally love dogs. Uh, the thing is, I think people pay too much attention to the breed of the dogs, uh, ratio, I mean, the purity of the dogs. Um, I'm not into it for me, just any dog is okay. I would go for dogs because I love dogs um, they are indifferent to me I just love dogs the dog is very happy. The dog is grateful. She is treating him um, well. He is in a good hands, definitely. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think you're drunk. Yeah. I ask if she has uh, children, if she has some children, and she says, yes, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yes, uh, She asked me, what about you? And I said, nothing. I told her, nothing yet. Yeah. Uh, she says, mine are, all, mine are already grown up. I said, uh, I still have to find me something. Okay, Vudangara. I ask her again. I am, I am all confused when, when she says this. Okay, she says, Vudangara. Yes, Muslim. I think I already did demonstrate it. Vudang Gora. Okay, these are the Vudang Mountains. There you go. These are the Vudang Mountains. There you go. Vudang Gora. So she is practicing spirituality. She likes that. And uh, after visiting the town in Russia, uh, she proceeded to China. Okay. In Chinese, this would be this here. Wudang Mountains. So. Yeah, but man, I think it's kind of shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But there's just a good letter here. Yeah, that's it. 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 Yeah, uh, Croatia. Uh, I didn't catch really well. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, but man, I keep asking the same shit. Yeah. 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 I said to her, yeah, but I like China. I like China very much. And she said, yeah. Uh, she says, uh, the country, she's talking about the country, you know, and I tell her, no, no, the woman, the woman. Yeah, yeah. I tell her, women are also beautiful Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We are laughing both. I don't know what we are saying. What she said, she's laughing. Uh, she says, yeah, and she says something. It's funny, but... Yeah, yeah. 
Predvišujem pa tudi to vrt, osvele, ki je bil na Rados. Zdi, da se je vse tako, da si... Ok. She says everything is beautiful except for uh, except for what she says are toilets, and she's talking about an old toilets, and the truth is that, and I don't know if this was is if this was in China. I don't know. This I remember. <laughs> the only occasion I remember was when we were outside of the Shanghai, when we were outside of the cities. Um, I don't actually really recall this uh, kind of toilet uh, in the city, but I recall them very much in a country, like outside of the city, like 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 in a rural areas, uh, whatever we would go that, yeah, everywhere was the kind of toilet that, this is just a toilet that there is nowhere to sit. You just, you know, do your thing. There is something and it was something that was used in common it was completely common uh she was horrified by that stuff you know she was like oh my god oh my god oh my god throw the entire trip about this toilets uh the thing is i didn't pay much attention to them but she's a lady of course and uh the thing about it is that right here in slovenia i tell her i ask her what what uh, what year are you you know she says i'm 77 i said ah yeah I said that is correct and you cannot remember that but I tell her in the kindergarten uh, and in uh, elementary school in Gurum we the children alone used to have this kind of toilet still in Slovenia in Yugoslavia when we were very little and then they replaced them uh, but in a military as far as the military they would still have this uh entire military that was here the yuna where we would go to visit the the places uh, within this military facilities they would still have this and i'm not even sure whether it was not in a slovenian military that they inherited this uh buildings and stuff from the yugoslav army if it was not uh, about the same case so that was not such a big deal to me but yeah the ladies don't like that the ladies uh see once you get used to it it's of course it's it's more comfortable to see it and this and that yeah. In kaj, mislim, tako je bilo, lejte, ko so stvari naredili, pomaga so se ljudje na tak način? Oh, in China, they, in China is like this, basically, in, 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 uh, they also noticed that with me, when I first came, when they first they got me in China, I was also, I'm not fair here. I was also uh, complaining about it. I was also looking at those toilets, I said, look at these toilets and this and that. And then, because this guest was unhappy customer, uh, they accommodated me. <laughs> they put me to these politicians, which they had this kind of good toilets. Uh, so it was kind of a funny situation, yeah, it's true, also in, in the bigger cities. In China, I don't know what situation is today. They probably all have like this. But back then when it all started, it was really like this, that they would have this kind of uh, restrooms. That's true. Škole bi ta velika narejena. V drugi svetovni vani se se mogel skup dat. Sto, veče. I tell her that this was just simply the cheapest way. The, the main thing was to accommodate the needs of the people because of the World War II. The World War II destroyed, devastated and Slovenia, Yugoslavia, and China, and so on. So it was the first thing was priority. It was a matter of priorities. Yeah, in Slovenian military, which I served, um like in what was the year i served 91 92 they still had this kind of uh 
they still have this kind of toilets in certain locations they still have had this kind of uh, actually listen no way i remember slovenian military had uh, their facilities they still have this kind of stuff uh, on a several locations they still they've still maintained uh, type of the toilet that it was like uh, already gone and it was the same thing they would still have the same kind of facilities like you know the same thing she, uh, she, yeah, she understands my explanation, but she's not excited. It's a typical lady. She's not excited about it. Everything to her was wonderful except the toilets. She, um, yeah, she is still thinking about. She loves China, but and she likes to, uh, she likes to look like a Chinese girl. She found this trick to get her attention from people. I know that she she likes to look like this. Uh, everything wonderful, but she started to describe uh, about how this toilet functions. Okay, okay, that's that was not experience for her. Okay, now I feel horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Typical wow. lady. I told her I'm so pleasantly surprised today. This is a wonderful day that I met you. She says I'm I am very pleased, she says. <laughs> Uh, she says, she says, uh, she says, uh, wait, I said, you, you live in apartment buildings. It's an, it's an apartment building. She said, no, in the house. And she says, and I say, but wait a minute, you, you used to live in an apartment building long time ago. Uh, you used to live in an apartment building. And she says, no, no, she said that was long time ago, like 30 years ago. About 30 years ago, uh, she and I did not met. Uh, I did not know her. I knew nothing about her. Uh, I mean, this is just the way it is. So this was a miss from my point. This was a mistake. Uh, she asking you and where are you from and I feel very unpleasant at this point when she asks and uh, I said that I am from Kirka she is playing with the dog. Okay, uh, I am gonna have another video coming sometimes um, to give you an idea. I did not even ask her about that. Now that was really, really stupid. Uh, let's do it like this. Uh, I I was sure that I did at least ask her about. I was sure that I did at least ask her about. Uh, I was damn sure that I that. 
at least I asked her about uh, let me see that about the area where she lives you know you see because I live here you know. I live here this side of the city that's where I live right and she lives really on the other side of the city uh, she lives in this area now these are if you would multiply like this you would get an area like this now, this is the area here uh, let's zoom in and out a little bit and you're going to get this apartment buildings these are many apartment buildings uh, and i know that the area uh, was correct area but it was a mistake it was a stupid thing uh her house her house actually you see this this here this is the school i was this is where i went for mechanical engineering technician in the school this is the school right here and when i was brought from the u.s I don't know was it like uh, 2000 I don't know what year was it I I was just completely confused about it all because she is in one of these houses here look actually very close here I would say if I would go like this uh, let me see if I can if I can get a street street maps uh if you can get a street maps you can get a street maps no he will not give me no street maps he will not give me the street maps okay the house is like this the house ever since ever since the 18th you would not see me in this area anymore here you wouldn't see me in this area anymore i just how can i explain okay her house it's uh, what you need to remember here in this case is that uh, this is something one two three I had a feeling that she is here in this street, in what it says here, Vestrova Ulica. What, what I don't like about this stuff, uh, what I don't like about this stuff is that this, this, it, and it's not the internet, it's this demon. Aha, okay. Vestrova Ulica. No, you, you don't get anything here. You don't. It doesn't it doesn't demonstrate anything you know I, I can't do like this stuff i have to see these houses and so on i can't do it but eventually i'm not even sure why i'm not sure i'm going to explain to you let me see that i'm not sure because they're supposed to be right where you see here this shegova ulica right here did you see a shegova ulica And it's supposed to be a house, and then their house is behind this house. So this is the way it is, yeah? And that tells me something else, that most likely the house is not even in a Vestrova ulica, but it's in Volchicheva ulica. So it should be here actually in Volchicheva ulica. But look at this. This is almost a crime, look we have chance to see this here nothing okay now we actually do have a chance to see it
No, I don't want to say anything, but I think that this is what it is. This is Volchicheva, Volchicheva Ulica, so that she is here in a, like five minutes away from the school where I was. I know what the bathroom, a beautiful bathroom looks inside. Uh, I remember, I remember this stuff. Okay, her parents and so on and so forth. Uh, she really wanted to date me and, well, that's all. And I told her, and, but you were not also in Peking, maybe? And she said, I was. And I said, you were, you were. She said, she, I told her, you were all over the China. I told her. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 it's safe. I remember now. Uh, there was a German guy. There was a German guy. Uh, what is with this German guy? He traveled along us. She was, and it was also this German guy, and I was. The, for the three of us I know. Who else was there? I don't know. There was more people, but we would meet people when we would get to the certain destinations. But uh, throughout the entire trip was this German guy that would travel with us too. I asked her, did you meet by any chance a uh, Chinese president? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, she says, um, she is very, very diplomatic. Uh, she says, well, you know, uh, Chinese president, what can I tell you? Uh, this was like almost no time that I was there, that I wouldn't meet him. Um, she says we had, uh, I don't know how you say that, Povorka. Um, like a caravan, but I was not there, she said, uh, in that sense. Uh, let's do this again. Okay. <laughs> She kind of, uh, she says it was some kind of celebration, something like this, but I was not there in that sense. Uh, uh, the temples, the temples were interesting uh, to me. That's all I wanted to see. Uh, the next she mentions a uh, guy, a Chinese guy who spoke Slovenian language. Now, what exactly are the chances if she did meet a Chinese president? Because I know she did, because I know that people around me when I was in China, uh, I think sometimes they would go so they could meet him, basically. If you were next to me, you would meet people that otherwise you would not meet in a thousand years uh, altogether in thousand lifetimes. Um, she start to talk about the uh, Chinese guy whom she met and who speaks Slovenian language. So then you know that she did not met him. Not at all. Yeah. Uh, Chinese people are good people, I tell her. I told her what I already stated to you. Um, 
whenever the Chinese people, I was alone with the Chinese people, it was wonderful, it was beautiful. But if it was somebody else next to us, it was not. I think that in Tiananmen Square uh, is where she met, she tells, a uh, Chinese guy uh, who spoke Slovenian language. So that's very, very ordinary, right? Slovenian, uh, like we are not even two million. Slovenians were like million and a half. Uh, comes to China and it's already a Chinese who speaks Slovenian language uh, waving hello to you. That does not happen. That does not happen. That just doesn't happen. Uh, by the way, I do plan on learning Chinese language. I like China so much that I am going to go for the Chinese language. I will. She said, uh, the guy uh, waves me and tells me in Slovenian language, Zdravo, hello. Uh, I was like, he lives in Slovenia already for I don't know how long. I don't know, she said, but it's felt like as if we know each other. Let's hear this again. Yeah. She says his language skills of Slovenian language, the way he learned. Um, well, well, right? Uh, so good as if he would live here in Slovenia already for I don't know how long, she says. That's how good he spoke Slovenian language. Uh, Vucic was asked for his road infrastructures when Chinese offered and technology and money financed uh, roads throughout the Serbia. They built like super highways. Serbia became like uh, superpowers with uh, concerning the highways. If you look at the highways, it's a very, very intelligent way who, by the way, Vucic learned from my maps because it was my idea that you would connect the cities uh, like with the highways because it, it's ec economically very efficient thing to do. We don't have nothing in Slovenia like this, but Serbia, they built, this is a reality, highways. And it was Chinese that did this for them. It's a very, very beneficial thing, actually. Uh, they told him, but you must help this guy. And to me, uh, that I have to be, uh, you know, a good boy and so on and so forth. I am a good boy. Emma Livanka, Marco Polo. I told her about the Marco Polo, the, the movie about the Marco Polo. I told her that this is when I was uh, completely absurd with this uh, culture. Now I have to go and open the door for my mom. Prihayam. Uh, and that's all for this video. Yes, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Okay, that's all uh, basically for this video. Uh, I'm gonna go to beginning now and play to you the whole thing all over again. But yes, thanks for watching this video. This is what it was. She says I was very, I tell her I was very motivated instead in yoga, in Indian yoga, because she's in the spirituality and that kind of stuff. I was on the other hand interested in spirituality in actually in athletics in yoga in India. That's what I know about about that kind of stuff. So uh, I, we both went apart hoping we would meet each other again. I definitely do so. And I definitely thank uh, Republic of China, People's Republic of China for this, as well as to uh, Chinese president and all my friends in China. And of course, the special girl, Alenka. Now what I will do is I will play to you again the whole audio recording from beginning to the end. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Oh, 
Ai. Ja. Ein paar Schüsse für die Tiere. Ja. Ja, ja, das ist super. Ja, Pomaga für mich drüber. Ja, jetzt ist nicht so die Idee, dass ich das nicht mehr machen kann. Ja, das ist nicht mehr so die Idee. 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 Ja. Das ist nicht mehr so die Idee. Das ist nicht mehr so die Idee. Ne, 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 Mamma, non moro che sono prendi, non hai da tanto mi chiesto se ti chiesto da tu, vu, sa che abbiamo vu da guardare tu non ti pare se ma ti vedi non ti pare se, a posto blasta, ma, a co, se non harvasta mi metto in bosco tu spariato, no, mi metto, non harvasta mi guarda Ja. Ja. Sjever je tje, sjever tamo. U Belgiji, u Nizozemski. Aha. Ja. Ja, pa smo jedni kitarski sami tjeti. Ne, to je to. Ja. Ja, ja. Pa ženske se to sveta ženske. Da, to je to. Sem vse in tam se to pa ne spadilo. Ali to pa ne vem. Ali se to pa nisem. Sem v tu, a ja, ja, stari tako, ki so bili časi, ker ne ve. Ti smo imeli mi to tudi tako večer, ker je to bilo. Bilo neveste, katero letni ste? Sedem. Kako sedem? Sedem senci, ok, posto bi tega ne spomnite, jaz sem pa ena in senci, december. Skvele, v osnovni soli grem, pa vam bom povedal, morda, pa nisem siguren, v tem bolj nisem siguren. Premislim pa tudi o vrtu skvele, ki je bil na Radovski. Se bi za vsej, vse tako, da si nisem, tako, ko ste videli nekaj tako. Jop. To bli, potem se jih pa zamenal, ampak tako je resnica. In kaj, mislim, tako je bilo, lejte, tu so stvari naredili, pomaga so se ljudje na tak način. Škodi bi vse veliko narejene, po drugi svetovni vani so se mogli skupdati, da so sploh lahko zalavljali nekako. In enostavno povedamo, tako je bilo. Vajska, pa verjetno morda se bi se danes malo jih narejeno. Tam, kaj sem jaz bil, v slovenski vojski se, je vse bilo tam, se spomnim, na Breganji in tako naprej, na določenih točkah. Bog si pomagaj, no. Ni bilo ga štuk, ko se vidi misliti, ne. Tako da, kitajska, ki je vela sila, hvala Bogu postala, da enostavno povedam, da te stvari bojo že zamenali, jaz sem pa. Tu pride s časem, ne? Ne, se mani, da sva je pripovalo, 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 Lino! Tu sem pa čist prijetno presenjetim za njih. Ja. Ja, nisem bil. Tako, ampak vi ste nujete v bloki, ki so to spomnil, ne? Ne. A niste v bloki, v hišu ste? Pa ste bila v bloki v tukaši? Ne, 30 let. 
30 лет назад. 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 30 лет Kje ima zelo bo? Kje ima zelo bo? Kje ima zelo bo? Kje I in Pekingu pa niste bili pravce? Bla, bla, ne, pa celi Kitaj. Ne, 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 sem Peking, Šanghaj, Buda. Tako sem ga Kitajskega predsednika sprečala. Oh, ja, ja. Nič, nič? Pa meni je povorko, sem meni je zazraven. Povorko? Ja, povorko moja, saj se počasa tam po sistemikovem trgu. Ja, ampak ne, kaj sem pogre pa Kitaj. Ne, ne, prav povorko moja. Ok. Kaj je na tih knjih in ima? Ти си никой, вътре ви темпли и то. То си си ще да погледаш. Китай си се фейс, нара. Това са добри люди. Не? Китай си... Тър са би Словенци здравен. А ще би друг. Ту ли ведно последно превидни, ампак се смо ли са сами за полепо. Пак е ресника. Налетел съм на търгу. Най-ми си тази, че си било разпределението. Но са нормално за ми се възмите. Пак е? Пекинг. У Пекингу? Ja. Ena na Livanka, Marko Polo. Ja. Spomnite ki tega? Ja. No, takrat je mene ta kultura, plezera, azijska spok. Japonska, pa kitajska, in tu me je pol. Ne, ne, tači. Prosim? Tači, mentacije. Ja, ne, tu pa ne. Tu sem bil pa, tu sem bil pa v indijske skeri. A, indijske. Tu sem pa yoga, tu sem bil sportnice. To so bili drugi časi, Helenka. Jaz se upam, da se bomo vse te izgledali. Lep dan, ki bi. Hvala, ki izgleda. Ambe še grejo.